when we are discussing um, agriculture and food systems, um, it's important to look at that in the framework of the Green Deal that the European Commission has just proposed. And as an MEP, of course, we will closely watch the plans of the Commission in that respect. The uh, farm to fork project, uh, the strategy that, uh, that will be developed, contains some good elements, of course, uh, the principles of leaving no one behind, uh, do no harm, uh, reducing pesticides, fertilizers, maybe changing the agricultural policy, but we will probably need much more than what the Commission intends to do. We really need system change, we really need to adapt our narrative and go to a complete change in our agriculture and food policy if we want sustainable, healthy uh, food for all our citizens. Uh, also taking into account the social aspects, uh, aspects like uh, food poverty and not only sustainability, climate change, environment. Um, for us it is also important that the Commission does not count too much on technological fixes uh, to advance uh, the agricultural and food agenda, but takes into account that um, technology will not solve all the problems. We do not need GMO technology. We are not so happy with the innovation principle. Of course we will need innovation, but not if innovation principle is used in order to deregulate. Regulation and innovation should be in balance. One drives the other and it should stay like that. We don't want to go to a deregulated uh, agriculture and food uh, system in, uh, in the EU and uh, of course not at the global level. So we have, uh, I think, to be constructive but also remain critical if we will see how the, the strategy that the Commission will put forward develops and we will of course do our own suggestions and try to work together uh, in order to really go to a system change because that is what we need to have sustainable agriculture and food policies in the EU today.